Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss important questions on heat exchanger. Like what is condenser and evaporator? Then difference between parallel floor, counter floor and cross floor heat exchanger. Now let's see these questions one by one. So the first question is what is the difference between parallel floor, counter floor and cross floor heat exchanger? So, parallel floor, counter floor and cross floor heat exchanger are the type of heat exchangers which are classified on the basis of direction of fluid motion. So, in parallel floor heat exchanger, the hot and cold fluid enter at one end and leave at other end. And this fluid travel in same direction. But, in counter flow heat exchanger the hot and cold fluid enters at the opposite end and this fluid flow in opposite direction then in cross flow heat exchangers one fluid moves through the exchangers at right angles to the flow path of the other fluid the figure shows the flow arrangement and temperature distribution in the case of parallel flow counter flow and cross flow heat exchanger from temperature distribution diagram of parallel flow heat exchanger we can say that temperature difference between hot and cold fluids goes on decreasing from inlet to outlet similarly from temperature distribution diagram of counter flow heat exchanger we can see temperature difference between the two fluids remain more or less nearly constant then for cross flow heat exchanger in first figure we can see Hot fluid flows in the separate tubes. And there is no mixing of the fluid streams. And the cold fluid is perfectly mixed. As it flows through the exchanger. In this arrangement of cross flow heat exchanger. Temperature of fluid will be uniform across any section. And will vary only in the direction of flow. In the same way. For cross flow heat exchanger in the second figure we can see. Hot and cold fluid flows in the separate path. And there is no mixing of the fluid streams through the exchanger. Hence the temperature of the fluid leaving the heater section is not uniform. The temperature of this fluid will be uniform across any section and will vary only in the direction of flow. Then, parallel flow heat exchanger needs large area of it transfer therefore it is rarely used in practice. But, in counter flow heat exchanger, due to counter flow, rate of heat transfer is maximum for given surface area. Hence such a heat exchanger are most favored for the heating and cooling of fluids. Now next question. What is the difference between condenser and evaporators? This are the type of heat exchanger which are classified on the basis of physical state of fluid. So, condenser is a heat exchange equipment used to condense a vapor or a mixture of vapors and evaporator is a heat exchange equipment employed for the concentration of a solution by evaporation of water then in condenser cooling tower water or chilled water is used as a cooling medium and in evaporator condensing steam is used as a heating medium then condenser involves the removal of latent heat Hence the temperature of condensing fluid remain constant throughout the exchanger. But in evaporator, and the temperature of heating medium decreases from inlet to outlet. The temperature of the cooling medium increases from inlet to outlet. But in evaporator, and the temperature of solution which is considered as cold fluid remain constant. So that's all about. Parallel floor, counter floor and cross floor heat exchanger condenser and evaporator so keep watching in the next video we will discuss another topic if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is chemical edda